Hi guys, don't know who's on there. I am uh, going to make a few notes <laughs> so that I don't get out of line. You know, sometimes you be talking and you just be having fun and you be going out of point. Um, I'm going to try to fix that. So I'm going to make a quick note, like write some things down so that I can stay on topic. So how you doing? How you guys doing? Hi, Irene. Uh, success. Hello. You know you can say hello back to me, you know. You know you can click the like button just to let me know you see me and that I see you. How are you doing? How are you guys doing? So I said I was going to uh, come online and talk about that topic we just talked about yesterday. And that time starts now. Well, let me quickly give a quick shout out to a few people I see online. Um, hi, Irene. Hi, Success. Hi, Walter. Um, hi, how are you doing? Yes, you know you guys can click the like button. It's right there in the bottom. You see it. You can give me some hearts. It won't kill you. You can touch that button just to let me know you're in there. So, um, if you're watching my live video for the first time, you can click one. If you're watching it, if you've been watching it before, just say two. And at the end of this video, uh, by the time we're through, uh, you would be able to figure out why it is, if you're a business owner, why it is that your friends and family may not be supporting your business now i get a whole lot of that questions people ask me a lot like beauty you'll be killing it how you selling how you selling how you selling you know you don't um post a lot about it and you don't creep into people's inbox and stuff like that but it looks like you're selling how you be doing it i'm about to tell you guys so i'm gonna wait a few more minutes it's just 10 uh i might see if i can add a few people who actually are business owners um, this actually applies to uh, people who also do MLMs like if you're an MLM uh, business person most definitely you can get value out of this if you're selling something if you're buying something you most likely can get um, some value out of this one so I was gonna try to find some people but who am I kidding? I don't know how to do that shit. All right, so let's get started. So now the main gist. Somebody crept into my inbox and uh, my WhatsApp message and she was asking me, you know, uh, I'm about to give up on this business. When I make a post on Facebook, uh, nobody likes it. I mean, I'm very disappointed. My friends and family are not buying. Uh, they won't even share the post. They won't even... Uh, but they like it when I give them stuff free. So if they all want free and I'm not selling, how am I supposed to stay in the business? So I was like, girl, I understand, but slow your roll. Slow your roll. Hi, Bessie. How are you doing? <laughs> I hope you are doing good. So let me give you a quick disclaimer. Everybody who does not support your business is not a hater. Yes. Just because people don't support your business, it doesn't mean they hate you. Your friends and family are your friends and your family. If they don't support your business, there are very many different ways that they can support you. They don't walk around with a dollar sign on their head. So every potential family person you know, or business owner, or friend, or acquaintance can't just be your buyer i hope you get that one so let's get that disclaimer out of the way just because your friends and family are not supporting your business it doesn't mean that they are a hater it doesn't mean they hate your business they don't like you they don't want you to succeed that's not true there are very many reasons why your friends and family may not support your business uh one reason being maybe they just don't need what you're selling maybe they just don't need what you're selling now maybe your stuff ain't good that's possible too um but you don't have to argue with them or try to show them what it is or try to fight for your business you need to start doing less talking more doing less talking more doing so instead of just telling them you ain't buying i posted you don't share you do that you don't no 
you need to do less talking more doing when they actually start seeing what it is that you're doing um how pe other people are responding to it how confident like you don't need a hundred people to believe in your business you have to believe in your business whatever it is that you're giving out goods services you know products you have to believe in it be convinced about it like eat leave breathe that shit. so every time you put it out you good morning sir <laughs> how you doing hi yes how you doing long time hi bessie good to see you guys so every time you come online and you talk about your product be an expert in that field do less arguing with the people trying to convince them about your business do more showing show results uh show your funds i know that in nigeria it's a very difficult thing to do i have a lot of people who call me and tell me oh no don't tell people how much money you I, don't tell people how much money you make don't tell people how much money you make oh some kidnappers might come and get you but i mean that only happens back there i mean several business group where people actually show what they make monthly or daily or you know how they're pro uh, product is progressing like a, a progress report now if i'm trying to encourage you to start a business and i'm telling you that this business works and all of that stuff now talk is cheap i may just be hyping it packaging it you can't tell the only way that you can really tell is if i show you the receipt i show you the results i show you you know what's going on with it and you can actually see it that would be more convincing than just coming up to tell you, oh, my product is a hype, blah, 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 blah. So now let's get back to why your friends and family are not buying from you. If you start your business with the impression that your family and friends are going to be your only business partners, you're not going to survive in it. It won't work. It just will not work. Because... Your friends and family can only buy so much. It's just like uh, maybe you're about to launch a book and out of, you, you, okay, you sell 30 books and out of the 30 books you sold, 28 was bought by your friends and family and two by strangers. You actually only sold two books because the people who know you may have bought that out of guilt or just supporting you or you know trying to help you get started so they don't feel guilty or shitty that they didn't support your business but that's a one-time thing you can't expect them to do it all the time and your friends and family can only buy so much from you at a time they can only buy so much from you at a time you also have to consider if what you are selling is what they want okay let's say you are in a page that is filled with men and you're selling female bras like some women don't even know what their bra size is so are you gonna expect a man to know what to buy for a woman you are marketing to the wrong crowd you have to you know analyze what it is that you're selling the, the the people you're selling it to and how you put your products out so if you're marketing your business to the wrong people they're not getting value out of it. they can't use it so they won't buy that from you um if you are i know they say especially in mlm they'll say your network is your net worth so the people who are close to you are like the one market that those are the people that you can you can you can share with but come on now if this is your 25th business i won't be supporting you because i supported you the other 24 times and they all died i mean i know it's okay you can try different businesses until you find what actually works but you can't blame me for not trying to support you 25 times yesterday oh last month you were selling uh baby products and this month you are designing homes next month uh you are teaching how to make smoothies and stuff like that at some point the people are gonna lose faith in you so when you start a new business they won't be interested in supporting you they just look at it, like girl 
She crazy. She's back again. She's trying to sell something. And no one will care. So it doesn't mean that they hate you. Hate you per se. It just means that they're either tired of your different businesses that you come up with. Or they've run out of support lines to give to you. It might also be that what you're selling is not something they want. Um, it might be that they can also share your you know everything you post you can't expect them to share it all the time when was the last time you shared my post when was the last time you shared their post when was the last time you shared something they shared on their page now if you're not doing it constantly why would you expect them to do the same thing for you so if you if you if you want them to support you you also have to support them you also have to be understanding of of you know what it? I know it hurts when the people you love, the one you call your own, you're trying to run a business and no one is trying to um, get you into it. And I know especially they can push you into a business. That's why when you are starting a business, you start a business because you want to start a business. Because you believe in that business. Because you put in everything. You've done the groundwork and you are sure that come rain, come sunshine, that is the thing you want to do. If you start a business just because, oh, you see someone else doing it, or you've been talking about it, or you posted it for someone and a lot of people buy it, you are going to be in a problem. For example, oh, maybe you'll be sharing inspirational quotes on your page and you come out and you're like, men are bad, brother. women have to do this, I support you, sis. Yeah, they are going to support you. They will say, oh, go start a blog. You do very well in it. Go start a blog. Put your business out there. We're going to buy. <laughs> and then when you get started and you open up that blog, cricket, cricket. They won't even click to go to your page to read it, not to talk of supporting you. And if they do one time, unless they have real value, they ain't going the next time to support you. So, if you are open a, opening a business, open the business with the knowledge that it is something that you want to do and that your friends and family are not the only people you can market to. Now, it's great if they support you, but if they don't support you, it doesn't mean that they hate you. It doesn't mean they are a hater. It doesn't mean that they're envious of you. It doesn't mean that they want you to not succeed. Now, I understand that there are some assholes who are just bad and you should be able to you know kind of sift what people tell you like when you're trying to start a business and you you tell some people oh uh i, I want to start this business some people will actually just tell you oh no don't do it uh that ain't gonna work oh too many people are already doing it you know sometimes it's coming from a good place Hi Mercedes, how are you doing? Hi Peter, hi Okechi, how are you doing? Azomta, good to see you. Yes, yeah, sometimes it's coming from a good place. Sometimes genuinely they are afraid for you. They don't want you to lose money. Maybe they've seen other people do it and lost out. So when you come out and you say, hey, I'm about to go into this kind of business, they will just automatically discourage you and don't want you to go, you know, further. You should be able to sift it when people tell you things to say, you know what? It's coming from a good place. It's coming from a genuine place. Maybe, I mean, the best place to get an advice for your business is from people who are already doing it. So when you ask someone who is not business oriented, has never dabbled in that water before, they're going to give you most likely negative reasons, you know, to not do it. They're going to tell you, no, don't do it. Everybody's selling it. If I tell you how many times I got discouraged along the way, you will not believe it. But because I knew what I was doing and I was convinced and I believed in my own hype. And I, I you know, I tried it out. I've given it out to people. When they discouraged me, I just smile and I thank them and I go about my business. I keep going. Thank you. I just keep doing. So just because they love you don't mean they want to buy from you. Just because they love you don't mean they have to support you. Just because they love you don't mean they have to share every post that you make. It might not be what they want. They might just not like sharing anything for people. They don't like some people don't post anything on their page. So what makes you think because you started a new business, whenever you post something, it's an obligation for your friends and family to click share and, and just start 
uh, um, sharing it for you. And then some people are also very rude, if you would call it, in their business approach. Like, okay, you just sent me a friend request today and I just accepted it. Even if we were friends before, we've never, you know. And as soon as I accept your friend request, the next thing you slide into my inbox and you are bugging me about buying something from you. I don't even know you like that. You don't know if I know what it is. You can always watch it on replay. You don't know if I know what it is you're selling or that I would be interested in it. I mean, give me some time to warm up towards you first before you try to market to me. So how are you marketing your business? Another reason why people are not buying from you too is because they know you too well. People will view you as they see you. That's why they said, oh, a prophet is not appreciated in their own uh, neighborhood or household or whatever that quote goes. Remember Jesus? Oh, when he started doing the signs and talking about God and all of that stuff, what did people say about him? Oh, isn't that the carpenter's son? Like, what does he know? I mean, personal experience. When I started making my serums and stuff and I would give it out to my family and close associates to try them, they won't even try them. They'll be looking at me like, I'm sure that when I give it to them, they'll be like, oh yeah, yeah, I'll try. And as soon as I turn my back, they put it in the trash. They'll be like, what the fuck is she trying to sell to me? Or what's she trying to make me? She wants to destroy my skin. She doesn't know what she's doing. Because they know me. They think they know me so well. They know me from childhood and all of that stuff. And they'll be like, oh, I know this person. What has this person got to offer? That might also be a reason why they are not um, sharing or buying or trying to use your product. It could be that they, they see you as the person that you were before you grew up. They know you very well, so they don't understand what it is that you're doing or how you can provide value. That is why you need to take your market to other people and not just kind of zone in on only your friends and family. I also told you they can provide false analytics. So if you are launching a new business and you've been talking about it and, you know, your friends and family will want to support you that first time if you're lucky. And, you know, if you made 20 sales and out of the 20 sales, uh, 15 was from friends and family and stuff, you actually only sold five products. Because those 15 people who know you very well and bought it from you, most of them may just be buying it because they want to support you to help you get started with the business. Some will feel guilty. If they, like, I've bought things from people that I don't need. Like, I really don't need it. I don't want it either. But because I want to support their cause, I want to support their business, I want to support their hustle. When they get started, I would put my money in it and take it from them. And, you know, maybe give it out or if you just sit down there and I don't use it. Now, when that happens... You can't expect me to want to come back and buy it over and over and over again. Just because I got it from you the first time, don't mean that I want to buy it again. I may have just supported you through that, you know, first time. Then, what's another reason? Before you put a product out, you have to test it first. You have to test it out with different people to be sure that the product is actually lit. If service you are providing, you need to have done it, you know, more than once with other people, you know, get results. And don't be afraid to put it out there for people to see. Like, put your statistics in there. Put the results. If you're getting good reviews, keep putting it out there. Now, a whole lot of people might just be watching on the side and not saying anything to you, but they actually are watching. If they don't need you right now, they might need you. A little bit later like I have people who have been on my page for more than five years and they never bought anything from me and then five years later they'll send me a message to say hey madam I've been following you for many years now and I think I'm ready to try your product oh see I'm dealing with acne it's refusing to go away I've tried this stuff I've tried that one and it wasn't working for me and boom someone I've never sold anything from before but has been following me would make a purchase from me i can't tell you how many times i have gotten referrals from people that have never even bought anything from me but because they've been following me closely consistently they see what i do they see how passionate i am about my business when they actually find someone who needs what i have they would 
reach out to them and tell them, hey, I know someone who can actually help you. And I get referrals through that method. So, uh, to recap, what are the few ways that... Um, what are a few ways that you can... Why, why are your friends and family not buying from you? There are very many reasons why they are not buying from you. Maybe your product ain't that good. Maybe it's not what they want. Maybe you are marketing to the wrong crowd. Maybe they just don't share stuff on their Facebook page. They don't even care. Like it's not being unsupported. They don't hate you. But it's just not something they do. I know a lot of people who don't post anything on Facebook. If you're expecting them to share your shit on their page, they won't do it maybe you don't market your product right maybe you're not putting out enough information for them to see um maybe you're selling yourself low maybe you're selling yourself low and they just feel like oh my god it's so cheap what's in there it's just like someone will bring me a post and tell me that that post is five dollars i won't buy it no matter how fanciful it looks because my brain will say how much is the zip how much is a thread how much is the fabric oh my goodness if it is that cheap it can be good sometimes you're selling yourself too cheap and then another time is sometimes people take free for granted like she said she said they won't want to buy it but when you give it out free they'll be running to get it so if you don't sell it how are you gonna make money if you give it all out for free and that's true so sometimes maybe you only need to give it out to a select few people who are deserving of it now now that we know that just because people don't support your business they don't share your post they don't they don't talk about your business for you or they're not buying from you doesn't mean that they're a hater what are the different ways that you can actually market your product i mean it's the internet I live in hermitage because I'm a hermit. I don't go outside. I'm very social, but I just enjoy my privacy so much. I like staying at home. I'm the kind of person that you would come to meet and we would plan to go out to see a movie. And before you come, I'm already making chicken. And I'll say, just sit down. Let's eat chicken. I'm making chicken. Let's sit at home. But I am running a business in different countries. So how do I do it? the internet for goodness sake the internet you put your products out there socially facebook is not the only place where you can market your business your private facebook page yes your friends and family are there they can help you get referrals but at the same time you can create a facebook business page you have instagram you have a uh, snapchat if you're into that you can put your products on Google. You can create a website. You can join uh, groups where they allow you to post your business and things like that. Uh, you can sell on, you know, marketplaces. Marketplaces like Etsy, Amazon, Handmade. It's so many of them. You have to find what works for you and it's around where you are. Like Facebook is my main market. I don't know how to do Instagram and all of that stuff. You know, once in a while I'll post on it and I actually get customers from there. Um, I have a Snapchat account, but if you ask me what it is, I can't even log back in there because I don't know what it is. But I focus on the things that I know really well. And I know that I'm leaving money on the table, just not working all of those other places. So you need to step away from the marketing for just family and friends. You need to know that there are more people outside that you can actually market from. Like how many of my, none of my family members ever bought anything from me. Um, I don't even think my family members know my business page. Well, they might know my business page, but they don't like, they've not, they've never liked it. They, they are not friends of my page. They don't, they didn't click to like my page or anything like that. And I know it doesn't mean that they hate me. They don't share my product posts and stuff like that. But if they, if they come across someone who needs something that they think I can fix, they'll tell them, boy or girl, I got a hookup for you. If you contact my sister, she's going to hook you up and take care of you and blah, 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 blah. That's support. I don't get mad that, oh... You didn't like my business page. So because of that, it means you're not supporting my business. No. Sometimes your friends are just on your page to be your friends. 
if you expect all of your friends to support your business and buy from you and when they don't buy you get angry you're going to end up losing a lot of friends because your friends are not there to be your business partner they are there to give you support and love and you know in in a friendly environment they are not dollar signs you don't see them and you think money if you're starting a business and you're counting oh i have three thousand five hundred people on my my friends list um all of these people will buy from me because when i make a post uh they respond to it and all of that stuff loser that's not gonna work loser 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 talk facebook likes equals to zero dollar so if you think just because you go to some pages and they post something and 200 people comment on it that means they are making money sorry loser talk did you hear of the instagram influencer that has over a million followers on her page i mean over a million and she wanted to sell t-shirts and all of that stuff and she put it online and they were all like oh yeah oh when it comes on we're gonna buy oh good stuff oh girl you go girl I'll support you mm. and the day for launching the t-shirt came up she did not even sell 20 she did not even sell 20 pairs of t-shirts she couldn't even sell 20 pictures t-shirts i mean a million followers and she couldn't sell 20 t-shirts so if you think people clicking on people's posts and sharing and liking and commenting on it equals the dollar sign bless your heart bless your heart so find other ways to market your product I'm not looking for my friends and family. Like, if they buy from me, I'll be really pleased. But I'll know that they bought it because they wanted it. Not because I shove it up their throat. If they contact me and say they need something, I would be thrilled to sell to them. But I will know that they wanted it and believe that I can fix it for them. And they're giving me their money because I deserve to earn it. I don't shove. I have never never in the history of me doing business inbox anybody at any time to say come buy my product never the people who have bought something from me from my personal page or friends and family or relatives or whatever are people who actually believe that i can provide a solution for them and they think i deserve the money that they give to me now there are some that have been following me for a long time and they know i can fix what they want but they don't buy from me though and then they go buy from someone else and then they get fucked up <laughs> and after they get fucked up they come to me and they be like girl i was using the product it gave me stretch marks i'm like i can fix it for you but it's gonna cost money now if you now come to me and tell me oh i i only have five thousand i'm gonna snatch my wig and slap you in the face with it didn't you see me here before you went to buy from that other crazy person who had you fucked up? And now that she fucked you up, you coming back to me to come fix it for 5000 Really, girl? Bless your heart. Bless your heart. So, don't expect too much from people. Find your niche. Target the people you want to sell to. And put your product out there in different places. Oh, someone really wants to talk to me. Put your product out there in different places where they will be seen and people can buy it because they really want what you have to offer. If you also want people to support you, support them. You never liked my page, never shared anything, never commented on my post, and one day you slide into my inbox and say, like my page child please i ain't liking nothing i ain't liking nothing unless i really like you now if i like you and i like what you're doing yeah i'll click on it and i'll follow it but if you don't follow me you don't do nothing for me don't click on my page don't do nothing i don't talk to you and my friend and you expect me to go click on your page and like it you must have me fucked up some kind of way okay so bottom line 
people are not buying from you for very many reasons that are different from what you think the first thing a lot of people will think is oh they hate me they jealous they don't want me to succeed oh they think i don't know what i'm doing yeah it could be any of that but at the same time it could also just be that they're not interested in what you're selling if you're selling pipelines or you're selling guns i won't buy it if you're on my page and you sell makeup and i am your friend seriously I love what you're doing. I'd like to support you, but I don't know how to wear makeup. So if I buy it from you, I'm just buying that one time to support you. I ain't coming back. It doesn't mean I hate you. It means I've tried it before. I didn't know how to do it and I'm not going to buy it. I mean, I went to Mac and I spent over $300 eyeshadow all of that stuff with my younger sister and they did the makeup for me i told them teach me how to do it they put me down they do all that stuff and then the next morning i took my bath and i went into the bathroom and let me hook myself up so i can look like i look yesterday girl when i looked in the mirror who, who, who's that masquerade i didn't even want to open the bathroom door there goes my 300 dollars. the only thing i used from that mark was the mascara uh, sometimes I fill in my eyebrows and uh, uh, what they call it now Ruby Woo their lipstick that was all I used from that pack ask me where the rest of them is I don't even know so if you're on my page and you sell makeup and you expect me to buy from you and you know I'm not buying from you and you're judging me by that girl you wrong because I don't really know how to use it so I ain't gonna buy it sometimes it might also be that your products are too expensive now i have a lot of people who would want to buy my product because they believe in what i am doing they want to try it but my products are out of their budget range i'm gonna be mad that they didn't buy from me i understand so you have to figure out why people are not supporting you why people are not buying from you and, and put in the work you also need to learn to take criticism sometimes it's not out of hate it's out of love it hurts when someone tells you oh all your hard work ain't shit but sometimes there's a lesson to learn from it so you can be bruised but not be broken i mean someone gave me a one-star review and told me uh for a product that costs that much, I should have used the better packaging for it. Man, I was about to raise hell down. But when I thought about it, I was like, she's right. And guess what? I went back to the drawing board and started searching. Because I had known before then that I needed to change that stuff. But I got comfortable and I didn't do it. So, business is hard work. But I can tell you honestly 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 from the bottom of my heart that there is a market for every single thing i mean someone invented the back scratcher someone invented uh, someone puts we already had toothbrush but someone put uh, batteries in them and it became a thing so no matter how stupid you think what it is you're trying to sell or do is there is always someone who wants what you are selling you just have to do the extra work to put it out there you also have to do the extra work to actually put your products out there so the people who need you can find you if you don't talk about it we won't know what you do if you don't talk about it right we may get you know the wrong ideas about them and just keep them so you have to do the work you have to sensitize the public you have to tell the people what it is that you want them to know and you have to put in the work to make them trust you i've been in business okay in nigeria and ghana 2016 to 2017 in the u.s majorly 2019 i can tell you categorically that of all the thousands of sales that i have made the people that I know that are friends and family who bought from me are maybe 10. They can't be up to 20. And I am mad. I have almost 4,000 people on my Facebook page. 
Why am I not mad that they're not buying from me? Because I didn't start the business with them in mind as my major customers. I started my business because I knew I had something to offer. I started my business because I was excited to share it with the world. And the only way to do that is to use the world wide web. So when you wake up in the morning, before you go about jumping into every other thing, put yourself in the places where people are searching for you. The money you are looking for is already here. The wealth you are looking for is already here. You just need to find what is coming for you. You need to learn about the law of attraction and abundance. I'll give you an example. Last year, okay, I sell in different channels. And I know I'm not supposed to be talking about things like this, but if you really want to convince people, you need to show receipts. Last year, I sell in Nigeria, I sell in Ghana, I sell in the UK, I sell in the US, and then I ship worldwide. Last year, I did about 20000 from one store alone, $20,000. And I was like, oh, wow, good. It's picking up on all of that stuff. But this year, from March until this time, I've done almost $200,000. Did new people, did God create new people to come buy from me? No. Did they print new money in the market and just push it out there for me? No. Did I change uh, 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 and do jazz or something to make people buy my products? No. What happened? I changed myself. I started taking my business seriously. I learned the, the secret of doing one thing at a time. You guys know I do a whole lot of stuff. But if you look back at my page from March till now, I cut out a whole lot of different things I used to do. And I focused on one thing. And that gave people the time to settle in, to know what I do, and find out that I am an expert in that field. It gave them time to start trusting me. I put my product out there. I didn't know. I, I mean, if you go to my page, you see my reviews. They are stellar like lit. And most of these people, I don't even know them. Never. I have people buying my stuff from across the globe. And they come back and they leave me five-star reviews. What did I do differently? I started to put my product in the places where people who would want to see it would see it. I started talking about it. I started being really focused with my um intentions i need to make a video to teach you guys how to attract abundance like my favorite word for this year and 2019 2020 and forever is going to be abundance abundance of health abundance of wealth abundance of love abundance of everything and if you can think about it you can have it Hi, Chidi, how are you doing? If you can think about it, if you can actually zone in on it, focus on it. I've given you these examples in the other videos that I've made before, where I tell you guys, if you're trying to get pregnant, all you see around you will be pregnant women or people having naming ceremonies or people just giving birth. If you want to buy a Toyota Camry, before now, you can be driving and you won't notice any Toyota Camry on the road. But as soon as your mind is made up about that thing, guess what? Every time you're driving or in the bus or everywhere you're going, you start seeing a whole lot more Toyota Camrys on the way. Now, did they make more Toyota Camrys and put them out there? No. Because you're now focused and tuned into that channel, you get to start seeing a whole lot of it. It's the exact same thing with business once you focus on something and say you know what i want this goal i will teach you people how i manifest like how i create my market for myself when i have the time once you focus on it there are certain rules that you must follow daily there are ways to break your goals down to the minute detail like to the minute detail and before you know it you can actually put your business together in ways that you can't imagine. I am a living testimony. 
The things that I have done, no one thought I could. But I know who I am and I know what I'm doing and I know where I want to go. I took myself from zero to hundred so quick that I'm still dazed. Like, how did it happen? And guess what? I am still a work in progress. If I can do it, so can you. I am no better than you are. I am not smarter than you are. I mean, haven't you seen stupid people making money? I am not stronger than you are. I have the same 24 hours that you have. The only limitations that you have are the ones that you put on yourself. So stop holding yourself back. Go back and work on your craft. Go back and find more ways to put your business out and all of that stuff. Um, when you put out posts and people don't like it, they don't share it, they don't click it. It doesn't mean, it doesn't mean that they didn't see it. Some people just see like, I'm not one to comment on a lot of people's stuff. But I scroll through when I have the time to see what people are doing. Sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. It doesn't mean that I hate you. That's the same thing. That's the same way. You don't share everybody's stuff. If it brings value to people, they will automatically share. So focus on your craft. Put your business out there, whether they like it or not. When I just started this business, I used to be worried about that. And then I went to Clarins page. I went to Neutrogena and I saw that these people I established, everybody knows them and they will make a post and they will have seven likes, one comment. That was when I reset my brain and I said, you know what? If these big brands that are well known go through this, then I'm good. I'm good. I don't have a problem. So you have to change your mentality. You have to figure out what it is that you like. You have to figure out what it is that you're doing. Um... Keep sharing your business. Keep putting it out there. Create the awareness for your market. It doesn't matter what it is that you're starting, you're trying to do now, and people don't know about it. You have to create the market for yourself. You have to create the market. You have to educate people on why it is that they need what it is that you're offering. You have to show them what it can do for them. And then leave them alone. Don't hound anyone. Let them take their time and eventually they would come to you if they need you. There are very many people out there looking for you. That's the same thing too. Um, I made a post a few days ago about people making a post and deleting their post just because people don't like it. <laughs> Bless your heart. Stupid. Bless your heart. Stupid. 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 <clears throat> So, uh, I just lost network. I'm going back. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I forgot that I was doing stuff at home. This phone I'm using to record this thing is actually hooked up to my Wi-Fi at home. I haven't put a SIM card on it. So, driving out of the house now, I just lost network. So, I'm going to go back and finish this video and that will be it. So, bottom line... Uh, put your product out there. Let people get to see what it is that you're doing. Um, talk about it. Share it. Keep, you know, crafting your craft. Learn how to take beautiful pro uh, pictures of your products. Learn, learn, learn. Learn how to take really beautiful pictures of your products. Learn how to describe. Some people have really good stuff, but they don't know how to describe what it is that they have. Um, some people don't know how to put their products out there. They don't know how to list it. Um, some people can't talk about what they're selling. It's not because they don't have good stuff. They just don't know how to market themselves. So what do you do? You learn. Some people just don't know how to market themselves. So what do you do? You learn. You, 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 you take lessons from people who have actually done it. You, you see how they are doing it and, and you, you work from there. So that's it not everyone is a hater just because they don't buy from you like i don't buy everybody's shit like i could care less if it, if i don't want it i might buy it one time just to support your business but that don't mean i'm gonna want to do it all the time so you have to take that into consideration 
but keep putting out your products out there keep keep you know keep improving on your craft keep doing the best that you can keep uh sharing talking about it the people who need you will find you that's that's just the way it is there's no uh, success is not partial if you do what successful people do and you repeat it over and over and over again if your product is good if, if you know if you're if you're doing the right thing the people who need you will i didn't i, I don't have no godfather i don't have no godmother i'm just out here winging it all by myself it's a trial and error you put out a good product you put yourself in the right places if you're lucky to have people who are connected and can help you market it make use of it but if you're not just keep doing you so i hope this would have helped um answer some of that questions and um, there are some more questions i would have to take but i have to find the time because your girl is hustling just like you are yes i'm struggling just like you are so our struggle might come in different ways our hustle might be different ways but the goal is the same so i'll find time to make more videos to help you guys out from my own personal experience and tell you what it is i'm doing and how i'm doing it i mean it may help you and you know we support each other so i'm gonna go inside and do my work and if you have questions or anything if you want to share share with your friends if you uh, you know if you share it is good but if you don't i ain't gonna hate you we'll be all right um if you have questions leave them in the comment section i would respond to it when i'm done and um, if there's anything you 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 think i can do for you you can send me a message i might delay in response because i mean i have a life i have a business i have two kids and I have to function too as a human being so i might not be able to get back to you immediately or as fast as you want but i definitely will get back to you so you guys go on and have a good day shout out to you who watched it um if you're watching my video for the first time you can type in one if you're watching it on replay type replay if you have questions ask me until the next time have a good time bye bye y'all get out of me. <laughs>